people are quite surprised when they hear that I haven't had any real formal training in what I do. But I actually think it can be a big advantage to have to teach yourself um, all the skills from first principles because you have to really get to grips with it. And actually, my background in maths, is, I think, has helped me a lot because, for my work at least, there is an awful lot of problem solving. And, of course, that's basically what maths is. So I actually think I've been quite lucky uh, in the path that I took. I have three main strands to my work. Portraits and still life, which are studio-based. And then also working on plein air, as we say. Uh, namely out on the street where I take an easel out and I paint from life in the city, mainly London, sometimes in Oxford and Cambridge and also uh, in more rural places, by the sea for instance. Generally I just walk around until, with my easel until I get hooked by, say, an interesting bit of light or a juxtaposition of vertical lines or some atmosphere involving a crowd. Um, and I get kind of tug that this is a painting and it's at that moment that I decide to set up my easel. There are quite a lot of constraints on you when you work outside. You might be wanting to capture a certain time of day, in which case you have to get all your work done in a certain time period, say from 12 till 2. Um, and if you don't finish in that period, then you have to come back the same time the next day or the same time in several days at the same time of year and the same weather conditions to capture that, that moment. And this kind of makes it all more interesting and it puts a pressure on you that's very helpful, very useful. I find it quite compelling and addictive, actually. Um, initially, it was very daunting to set up your easel and suddenly be the weird guy over there that everyone wants to look at. But um, once you're over that and you're focused on your work, um, it's quite a joy. Most days it takes me quite a while to get going and um, I start and I'm not really engaged with what I'm looking at and I get quite annoyed with myself for not painting particularly well. But if you just keep going and keep working at it, usually it might be a period of say 90 minutes at the end of the day, I'll be so completely focused that I'm just very, very aware of the city and the noises and the smell of the paint and I'm really completely engaged with what I'm painting and it's in those moments where I'm happiest, I think. In fact, there's nothing really quite, nothing really beats that feeling of being that focused on my work.